Greetings, everybody, and a week before Christmas holiday. Um, hope everybody's fine. I was bored, so I decided to do another video. It's not going to be a model video. It's going to be about other things that I like. This one, particularly watches. I'm going to call this one, <coughs> excuse me, A Tale of Two Watches. And the two watches that I'm going to show are this Citizen Echo Drive Sumo Racing Chronograph and this Citizen Pro Trek basically a military watch chronograph and why these two watches well i probably said in an earlier video that i collect watches and fancy pens i do but i haven't been wearing all of them and, and when you have watches you want to wear them just so that you know you take them out and use them if you have quartz watches it doesn't really matter because they're battery powered but if it's a mechanical watch or a solar watch, then you have to like use them so that you can keep them charged. These are both solar. Oh. Or keep the movement going. And a mechanical watch, it doesn't have batteries, capacitators, or solar power. It has a mainspring that's powered by either you winding it, then taking the stem and winding it, or movement of your wrist, which moves a rotor, which is in the inside of the movement, which keeps it wound. Mechanical watches usually have rubies, ruby jewels that they use in place of certain gaskets and other things because of less friction. So when they make these movements, they have jewels where the gears and where the sprockets are to help things move. They use very little bit of lubrication and mainly you get about 10 years out of a mechanical watch where you have to have it service oil clean or if it's in really bad shape, they overhaul it. They take it apart and clean it and put it back together again. For now, because of that, my mechanical watch is like, excuse me, my mechanical watches, don't mind my dog, he's excited, um, mechanical watches require a bit of, of like I said, work, and I, I, usually they're more expensive. Well, these types of watches are not cheap, but they are affordable and you can find them. Most people, when they buy a watch, they'll go to Walmart, Kohl's, Target, spend less than $70 on a watch. You have a small group of people that buy expensive Swiss or Japanese-made mechanical watches. Those are people that have money, and they basically do it for an investment. And anytime you get a chance to buy a mechanical watch, I would suggest buy it and take care of it. They are nice investment pieces, but when you have a watch, you want to be able to use it all the time. So in order to do that, you want it to have certain features. And the feature that I like, that's important, especially on these, is a sapphire crystal. You pay a little bit more, they don't scratch. The first time I had one of these Echo Drive, and this is an Echo Drive Sumo, um, uses the E210 movement, and it's model number 818333. This watch, is basically a replica of a 1973 23 jewel mechanical automatic citizen racing chronograph we use these for formula one basically car races what this watch does it has a tachometer scale you could time distance with that and in another video i'll explain how that works but it has a timing mechanism it'll time 12 hours and 60 minute one hour intervals basically. So you could time whatever you're doing with this watch and stop it and go, stop, go, stop, go. And it will time exactly what you need. Example, if I go for a ride, like say into the next state, Iowa, just to keep track of my time, I will take one of these and I'll act actuate it, use it so I know how long it took me to get out there. And this watch also, if you see here, oh, sorry. This type of a citizen watch right here, it's a ProMaster symbol. ProMaster citizen watches are very, very water resistant. I mean, like you could dive with them. This one, in fact, is waterproof to 666 feet. What does that mean? It means you can put on some scuba equipment, throw this on your wrist and use it. It'll work for that. This watch is solar powered also. And there's an issue with that. This is the third generation, not really fourth, of this type of a chronograph. The original one I had, the, it was a mineral glass crystal that scratched up. I put a new crystal on it and the band was messing up. It was an integral band. Didn't like it that much. I wound up selling it on eBay. I actually made money off of it. 
in hopes of finding one that was like that. Well, they came out with one with a sapphire, a flat sapphire crystal. It's probably coated. Stainless steel. Not as waterproof. It's not waterproof to 100 meters, which is 330 feet. And then this. This one is the one that I wanted. Well, what happened was they came out with another one after that. And the problem is this solar thing here. It doesn't charge it fully all the time. It does on this one. It does on this one. Because I think they've improved the solar panels. And if you look, they're right there, right there, right there, right there. They got more sunlight directed to them. <clears throat> the watch is phenomenal so far. I got this one for $330 off of eBay. Sounds like a lot of money. It's not. If you go to Macy's or Kohl's, sometimes Kohl's will have these. They're almost a thousand dollars. And I like in Macy's, I'm like, I'm not spending almost a thousand dollars on a citizen watch. Well, Citizen's the largest watch producer in the world, so they make a lot of nice fancy watches. This is one of their higher end ones. I picked this one up and I bought it. And I'm like, yeah, it actually does really good. I keep it clean by using a solution of water and alcohol. I bought this at Dollar Tree. When it came down low, I just do a half isopropyl alcohol, half water, and it does great for getting all the dirt and stuff and keeping this thing clean. Being that this one is water resistant, like to divers levels, not gonna mess it up. And it's a higher grade stainless steel. And so far, a very good watch. Oh, one other feature it does have, it has an alarm. This little thing down here, you can move it, it's controlled by this, this is an on off. And that's how that works. The chronograph, start, and I apologize for the crazy angles and stuff. Stop, reset. Great watch. I got one more to show you. The second watch is, I'm looking down here because I got to make sure I get all the right. This is a Casio Pro Trek model 5497PRG600YB. This is an awesome chronograph. I got this as a Christmas gift. This is basically a military watch. It comes in different colors. This one comes in green, army. They have one in blue, probably navy, and they have another one. It's another color with a leather band, probably Air Force. I could see the military using these. These are very simple to use. This watch has a mineral glass. Not as scratch resistant as sapphire, but pretty good. It's waterproof to 10 bar, which is 100 meters, which is 330 feet. You can immerse this. It's not going to do anything bad. I have to look down because I got to read what this thing has on here. This watch has, oh my God, it's got, um, it's a day date. It's a barometer. It's a temperature gauge, the recall function. It's a stopwatch. They call it, but it's actually a chronograph. It'll time up to 24 hours, which is phenomenal. Most chronographs are either 12 hours for your fancy Swiss or for these Echo Drive ones, like when I was showing you here, or you can get a Swatch Metis. So they have a redo of this Lamania old movement. And that's a six hour chronograph. I don't have one like that. If I ever get one, I'll, I'll do a search up on it and, and do another video. But this watch here is, is, is incredible. This one retails for like 350. You can get these as cheap as 200 or even un, under. If you look on Amazon, you look on eBay. They're pretty thick. They're a composite material of plastic resin. It's impregnated with probably metal or alloy. It's got a stainless steel back. It's got a stainless steel or aluminum bezel, which basically has all the different cities of the world. It's got a world timer on it too. It's got three alarms on it. So it's waterproof to 330 feet. You can get this thing wet and not worry. It's durable. This can be washed really easily. If it gets dirty or sweaty or stinky, you can clean it up. <clears throat> like I said, these watches are more military style watches. They have 24 hour timing. If you look, Oh, yeah, right around where the numbers, the regular cloud base numbers are. It does have a 24-hour timing thing with it. And really good watch. And what I've been finding is, and I want to try to shorten this video up. I don't want to bore everybody. These are the only two watches I've been wearing. I have quite a few. I'll wear this one as a day thing. This one you can wear to work. And then later, this one. I can take this one to the gym and use as a timer there. Because I do time my um, exercises and stuff. But this watch here, though. I, I like this one. 
And either one of these, I would recommend. You could find these for fairly cheap on eBay or Amazon. You could get one of these for under 400. You could probably get it for under 300 now. This one here, I've seen these at Costco, but the one at Costco is a rubber band. You want one of these that have the, um, either the canvas band like this or the steel band. Those are primarily, like I said, the military tech watches. Very good watches. Either one of them works well. They're pretty, fairly large, they're easy to read. They both have alarm functions on them, and they're both really attractive watches. Um, so that's it for this, a tale of two watches, and it was kind of disjointed and convoluted, but I just wanted to pass this on to everybody to, to show you and show you what I have, and I will have more videos coming up. Like I said, if anybody has any questions about stuff, I know a lot of different things about things. Some things might be considered kind of weird building models. Why would you do that? Well, to explain the historical value of the models. I also, like I said, collect pens, I watches, and I, I target shoot too. I go out and I'll shoot. I don't like to do firearm kind of stuff because of the craziness and way people get about it. But to me, a firearm is nothing but a tool. Nothing worse, nothing less. And in a lot of respects, I think um, have, having a firearm is safer than a bunch of edged weaponry. But that's just my opinion. And I don't know if I'm going to go in there yet or not yet. I haven't decided. I will do some videos regarding music. And I am doing some updating on two different computers. I will get involved in that and kind of link up with that. But anyway, this Casio, I'm not going to mention the name because it's a crazy one. But I did mention it before. Or this Citizen. Citizen, you can call this a sumo bullhead. This one, basically Casio Military. But like I said, if you need to know the name of this one, I'll go again. The Casio is a model 5497PRG600 YB. That's this particular one. Um, anyway, that's it. Any questions or anything, feel free. I'm sorry the video was sort of long. Um, I'll do a few more this weekend. And have a good day, everybody. And hope everybody's healthy. Bye.